there we go. So uh, we've just started the build on the 81 drill uh, mole rat, which is going to uh, be the answer to all our atmospheric mining problems. Uh, massive mining, sh mining ship that um, actually uh, parks hanging upside down. Well, not quite upside down, but hangs from an overhead uh, structure to actually park. So the projector's on and it's building it. Um, we've actually got it only showing buildable parts at the moment, so it's not showing the whole structure, it's uh, only showing the ones that it can build a little bit at a time. But gradually it will take shape and uh, should be good for a bit of entertainment. Yeah, we don't want to spoil it for everybody by showing them what it's going to be. But you can probably guess from where I am in the base here on this tiny platform way above the base just how large it's going to be in here. Yeah. So we figured that we were going to hold off for a while on the, uh, the base assault until it was daylight so that we could record it and see what's going on properly. So for the time being, we're going to work on the uh, the big miner like we've been wanting to do. And uh, maybe work on the APC or retrofit some of the ships that we got. All in all, lots of space engineers fun. There's always plenty to do. But finding time to do it is, is the hard part, especially when we're constantly attacking stuff or being attacked if we're in space. I actually uh, went out and checked out some GPS uh, pings that I had from checking the file. You know, just things that looked a bit odd, uh, bits and pieces of, I think, uh, outposts that broke off when they were being uh, attacked. So yeah, just making sure it was nothing that uh, was important if I was going to delete it. So there's a few bits and pieces out there. But only two enemy structures <laughs> left, as far as we know. There could always be more. It's like the corruption, they could return any day, we never know. Well, you know, I'm a bit worried about that one that we took out the aerial on, but uh, nothing else, pretty much. Because that must be out there somewhere still. The, uh, the hive ship? No, no, uh, remember, um, we had a, uh, we had a crash. Where you crashed into the top of the, like, you destroyed a turret, but then crashed into the aerial. And I took a couple of passes at it, but it was still had, you know, stuff all over it. Like turrets and things, and so we pulled back to base to repair your ship. And I don't think we ever went back, and since it hasn't got an antenna, I'm not sure we can find it very easily again. But I'm yeah, sure I have, we have no no memory of what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah, I, I do a lot of different things throughout the day at work, and my brain gets fried throughout the day. Oh, fair enough. It's all right. I have a feeling I'm going to have to do some more mining before this thing is built. So I did go and get a bunch of. Um, not mines. necessarily. Yeah, I found not a bunch of. Not necessarily because we have. I had actually uh, grabbed too much when I went to take some out to the bolo, and I ended up uh, grabbing I think a whole supply or at least more than half of it. But I found some more that was stashed away, so it uh, was fine. It was like. Um, I think there was 300 here and there was about 400 at the bolo, which is probably more than it actually needs. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, what I was saying was, if we can grind down enough of the stuff in here, we have a lot of steel plates, uh, metal grids, and just plain old, you know, if we need to, we can melt them down for iron. Oh, yeah, you know? I don't think we'll ever get to that point. But it's good. I mean, it's going to be extra, which doesn't hurt at all. Uh, probably take, uh, put off the time I have to go and do some iron that uh, definitely could use some steel plates. It looks like. So uh, if we if we you know paint you some of this some? stuff up, it might help it build a little bit faster. Well, I was saying if we paint some of this stuff, the grinders will take it out and use the steel plates up there. Sure. And this is still welding up stuff apparently. Oh, I grabbed some of the treasure from one of the outposts uh, when I was uh, sort of going around earlier. So I've got some uh, level 2 welders and level 2 drills from one of the outposts that we took. Booty. Loot. I tried to organize our um, cargo systems last night. You know, I always forget that you can't hear me when I'm in the inventory screen. I was just going to say, I spent some time uh, organizing our inventory last night, just trying to put the same things with the same things. So hopefully that's a little more organized now. Yeah, I did that up, up in the, uh, the space base for a while there. It stayed pretty organized, and then after we started grinding stuff, it, yeah, just went bad. Quick. Yeah. Um, oh, and I ground down a whole bunch of vanilla uh, tools and stuff that we just, you know, from <laughs> every time we die, we end up with all these extra tools and things. So it's worth a few ingots. Oh yeah, those that's resources there, ain't it? So um, something I was gonna ask uh, your suggestion on if. Uh, Maybe you could come over here, I could show you. Sure. So the floor where you're standing is a whole block thicker of heavy armor than the rest of the, uh, the ship. Do you think we should you know, remove that, or should we leave it? I think I we guess, should remove it. Yeah, see, I, I think at this point we need to design on the on the uh, rationale for our design for the whole thing. You know, are we going to have, like, uh, a particular section that's going to be super armoured and super protected that's, like, the cockpit control area? And then, you know, once we've done that, we might make the rest of it a little bit less armed because we have that particular place. Or are we going to make the whole thing, like, Fort Knox... Well, at the moment, I'm going to focus on uh, thinning out the, the inside a little bit with some of this stuff, like I'm doing back here on the back left. Keeping, yeah, I think that's keeping the basic shape and design and reducing the weight, because a lot of this is five or six blocks thick of heavy armor. Yeah, you should probably try and place the wheels you're going to use as soon as possible so you, you, know, you can incorporate them properly into the body of it. Because all of this, I mean, this being... Yeah, like, no, you know, um... Stuff. I'm actually thinking about doing, uh... Maybe tank tracks. Uh, as an exterior, um... What do you call it? Like, nacelle? Unless, um, you have a... No, no, no. Good no, idea no, on no, how I to... I refer to your superior knowledge on the subject. I was just suggesting that, you know, if you uh, want to keep the lines of the APC, the original one, you know, you would need to start placing wheels and stuff soon so you can 
plan around them. Well, the uh, the reason why I was suggesting the tank tracks is because uh, if we wanted to, we could build them inside in this area where the wheels are on the front and the back and build around that. Sure. But the problem is, is I can set up the rotors and the, the wheels and stuff like that and even, you know, get it set up in the um, the control block, you know, and stuff, or even inside the cockpit, building the actual tank tracks. That's the problem. It's a lot of work. Yeah, um, it does sound complicated, just what you just said then. I didn't know it involved rotors. See, that's the problem. I don't really understand yes. what you mean by tank tracks in you know the context of space engineers. Really? Well, you know, I, I can't think of anything I've seen with tank tracks on them or, you know, simulated tank tracks. Oh, man. You're missing out. I don't know. I, I wow, I'm, a, I'm... I'm... <laughs> I don't know if I should be, like, aghast or aghast. I think, you know, you said it right the first time, and, you know, you can say it in any way you want to. Oh, that was a that was an Adams family reference, the old black and white Adams family. Oh, okay. So, um, I'm thinking we should do um maybe uh locking uh what is the term? Uh to prevent steering, you reduce reduce the angle of steering to zero, I think, right? To prevent the wheels from turning? Um, you can actually switch off steering. It's like a, a an option box. Uh -huh. Oh, they, they changed that? Before it wasn't yeah. a thing. You can switch off steering uh, and you can turn propulsion right off. Because I did it with the um, design for this, uh, for the mole rat. Because it's got some wheels on the sides to help it... Um, Cushion it against the sides of the tunnel. Okay. So um, what I'm thinking is setting up another section of wheels, uh, one on the inside, so they'll, they'll all be facing inwards. So we'll have a row over on the right where that gap is in front of you, and then we'll have a row over here on the left facing inwards on each other. And then um, have the steering turned off on the ones in the back and steering on for the ones in the front and leave them all for propulsion because this thing's going to be heavy. Unless you think that having steering in the rear would help it a little bit with maneuverability. Uh -huh. It's up to you. You know, the only question, way that question could be answered is by building it and trying it. Through that. So, uh, something I was going to ask you. Would you, uh, be willing to grind out the floor in here for me? Or paint it pink? Yeah, I can do that. You'll have to do it with single blocks or you'll end up grinding out the floor underneath it. Sorry, I almost did it the wrong button and made a big section pink so I quickly made it black so I didn't grind it. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm stuck. Hold on. It's cool. It only managed to grind one block before I fixed it. I'm hoping. Two blocks, but you're good. Easy fix. Sorry, man. I just... Uh... Yeah. 
No, you're fine. That's why I was like, you know, you want to do it one block at a time. I was, and then I thought, oh, look, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll just drag it across the floor with the button down, and then for some reason, my body just shift, you know, muscle memory. It's probably just reflexes. I, I do it too. I'm like, oh, crap. Why do you think it's the whole thing's a different color? At one point, I hit Control Shift by accident. I guess I was planning on hitting Shift when I was doing the uh, the turret, and uh, I guess I hit Control and Shift at the same time with my pinky. Yeah. Not good. I mean, if you put a hole in the floor, it's not hard to fix. I just don't want to end up fixing more than we need to, you know? Sure. No, I, I think I'm, I'm in the zone now. So something I use to help me see a little bit better is the half slope. Oh, I think I'm okay. But, um, I was thinking about what you were talking to originally about. The original design for this was to have a, uh, like a cockpit or control center that's surrounded with monitors and stuff like that, right? Yeah. But what I thought that was in the design here was actually one of the wheel arches, I think, now. Well, to keep with the, um, See, I With thought that this, that's design. what this was. Yeah, no, they, they were. I looked it up. You were right. What I'm thinking about doing is the secondary cockpit or control center uh, because I do want to have the one up in the front, like I was saying before, and then I want to have one kind of back in this area to kind of have like a secondary just in case. Or a co-pilot to control the cannon or something. But um, I was thinking if we could figure out uh, how to get the scripts for the LCDs, we could have it to where it could show like battery percentage, ammo percentage, power, stuff like that. Yeah, sure. That's pretty easy to do. And you can get ones that uh, show the layout of uh, the ship and um, will tell you if there's damage and actually highlight the map and stuff. There's also one that allows you to see your shield percentage. Which would really be handy. Yeah, for sure. As long as it doesn't turn out like the holographic radar, with, which, you know, is fantastic, but it puts such a heavy load on the CPU that uh, you can't use it. It's not worth it, yeah.
think that's done now, sir. If you have another job for me. Uh, yeah, you could work on the front section if you want. Okay, I was going to place uh, maybe a cockpit. That's alright, you can have a look at my concept of it. Um, well, uh, if you want, you could copy uh, the back section over. And I'll work on the front, it's up to you. I mean... No, 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 it's fine then. Oh, I'm happy to do this. Should make sure I switched off the admin stuff that we were using before to to have a look whether our uh, new ship. Was going. So something I thought of too, um, that I was wanting to run by you. A spotlight that we uh, have on a rotor, a dual rotor, so it can point up, down, left, and right using a uh, remote control. What do you think? Or yeah. maybe a um. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, controls inside the cockpit? Um, sure. I mean, you know, uh... I just hesitate to overcomplicate things, like to have too many rotors on the one grid. Like, we're gonna be using them for no, the No, 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 no. I think I'm gonna... I'm not gonna do the tank tracks. I think I'm gonna do the wheel thing that seems a little bit more stable. And the tank tracks is more of a more of a thing for something that's not this heavy. Sure. But yeah, no. Um, if you could do the light bar, I think uh, across the front, so we got some headlights. Do you think uh, that would be a good idea, or do you want to just? Yeah, no, um, that's a good idea. Um, where would you like them? Well, uh. Do you want to grind this out and um, put the cockpit in here? Which one should yeah, we use, the regular this. cockpit or the fighter? I was going to use the regular one as you suggested. It seemed to fit more, you know, better with the design. Okay. Um, if you want to do that, we can figure out where the light bar will go after that. Sure. like the mole rat is coming along nicely. Hopefully it hasn't run out of it. Yeah, the, the uh, steel plates that we're giving it, it's really helping. Building repair system says it isn't missing anything, which is good. You know, when I checked uh, the settings on the bolo uh, for what the grind color was and things like that, they were all wildly different to what uh, they normally were. I guess it could be a bit randomized. It's going to be a while before it gets to my cockpit. Oh, 
I'll do it, it's alright. Leave it to me. It's alright, I'm on it. I was just being lazy and waiting for it to die. I got the elite grinder, so I'm pretty dangerous. In fact, I could easily kill you accidentally if I try now, so I should probably step back. Thanks, mate. So I imagined that there would be an access from the inside to reach the back of the cockpit. And I'd have to extend the roof forward over it at the level where you're standing. 
what do you think? I can't hear you, Darts. I, I think your mic may have unplugged again. Yeah, sorry, my broadcasting was off. I didn't realize it. Ah, oh, no worries. It's okay. I was I was talking to you for the last five minutes. I thought you were unusually quiet, and and were answering when I was asking you stuff. So, but you know, you might have had your reasons. So, uh, what about that, uh, what I was just asking, um, you know, the passage into the main uh, interior, is that right? And I was going to put um, at least um, one. Go on. I'll, uh, I'll show you. Uh, we'll do a walkthrough and I'll show you kind of what I was thinking. And then we'll see what you think. Sorry, I gotta refill my hydrogen. Okay, so, what I was thinking was grinding down two blocks, and it would sit basically at the level of that, um, not that level, but the next level up, it would sit just above that one. Can you mark it with paint? And then you, you would be able to... You, what you trying to show me. Right, then that's if we what put the, the cockpit or... on top of that. On top of that, okay. Well, that would be the block underneath the cockpit. And so right. we would um, we would have it there, and then we would be able to come in and access it and all that without having to fight with space or anything like that. Yeah, sure. No, I can do that. Um, unless, unless you think we should try a different no, approach? No, not at all. That's fine. Well, uh, what do you think we should do? No, no, that's fine. We'll, we'll do that. I, I mean, I had no opinion. Oh, well, I'm just, I'm just, I want this to be, you know, kind of a, our thing, you know? Sure.
So a thought that I could run by you here. Sure. If we did rotors for example on this one behind you this uh this wheel area if we were to make a wheel out of small blocks and connect it with the rotor on the outside of this area or if we did a um for example the cockpit we brought it we brought it in on the uh, through the floor and all that and have a small wall come up I think you're uh, overcomplicating it. it um, if you well, no, you I was trying it, to think of... But, you know, I thought we decided on wheels. Oh, no, I was thinking we could do the wheels like the original design was. I was just trying to see how we would, how we would do that. Do you think it's possible to do? Um, yeah, but I would just use normal wheels. And just okay. make the cavities. Okay, we'll stick with that. Normal wheels in, uh, you know, trying to add rotors and, and everything else is just, it's asking for trouble. I agree. Maybe in, uh, maybe in the future we could try it out sometime. Oh, but for they, sure. uh, we can redo it. Creative, this. maybe. You know, where it doesn't matter. Kind of thing. If we spend a lot of time Absolutely. on it and it doesn't work, sort of thing. But, um, I also came up with an idea for, um, the that ship that I'm building, that very very large one. Imagine a uh, a build where as you build the ship, it'll project more of the ship to build, kind of thing. So like you'll start out with maybe a tug or something size ship, and then as you upgrade it, each projector will have a new block to or a new setup. You know, that's a good It'll idea, increase its size over time. Sounds like a lot of work. Well, it's a, it's a, um, what do you call it? Like a leveling thing. A modular the, design. The more you, uh, the, yes, and as you, the longer you play, the more resources you have, the bigger it'll get, kind of thing. Kind of like how a normal base would get. Sure, but, you know, I don't have the programming skill to set up a, a total conversion of the game like that. I mean, I know some people do. But uh, oh, it no, sounds like no, it, I'm it just trying to be practical about, you know, how much time I would spend on the project like that as opposed to just wanting to, you know, do this sort of stuff where we, we actually play. Yeah, I understand. No, um, it was just something I'm doing on my spare time, like in between episodes or waiting for you to log on or something, you know, like that. For sure. No, Go I was on. just Rub picking your brain a little. I know, I was late yesterday. What? No, I'm just joking. I wasn't even here yesterday. I know, I know. Well, um, my time. You know I am joking. Oh, yeah, absolutely.
Um, Darth, I need your input on this because uh, because where the um, cockpit is placed, unless I move it further forward, uh, it's going to be. I need to remove these side walls, otherwise it's going to be really limited visibility, but well protected. I think if you move it forward, I think uh, two blocks should do. All right, so it, it it's going to be, be exposed then. then and outside the armor, or do you want me to build up the armor around it again? We could probably use the uh, the half block armor to cover it up, I think, and that would kind of give it the nose shape that it had before. All right. Oh wow, this has gotten a lot done. So it yeah, looks it like the main thing it's missing is steel plates. Yeah, I think it's just slow. I mean, it's a big, it's a huge you know, build, so it's taking its time to build. Did you mean half block or slope armor? The uh, half block, but you could use the slope. If you think it would uh, work. Oh, I'll do it that way and come and have a look and see what you think after. You could probably use the uh, slope armor underneath to kind of cover the bottom. Oh, plus, you think we should add a connector underneath there or something? I don't quite understand what you mean. The uh, small cab has the big connector point on the bottom, right? Oh, I understand what you mean. Yeah, no, there's two, I think. It's got, yeah, it's got a large connector point on underneath, and it's got, um... And then it's the two small ones on the back. I have a conveyor block underneath it. It'd need a large conveyor block. No, uh, if we can run, um, just for O2 and, uh, energy, we should just need the, uh, small one, right? Yeah, the small ones are on the back of the cockpit, though, I'll show you. Okay, then we should we should be good. Yeah, I can uh we can one uh run a uh conveyor up the uh the side of the wall up to it after we get everything kind of situated with it. All right, is come and have a look and is this where where you want it? I know I'll have to extend it out um, underneath you if I'm going to cover the front of the cab. Yeah, that looks good. I think if you use the um, the slope blocks, the uh, double slope, I think it is. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I'll do that. That would allow you to be able to reach the uh, the front, and it would 
uh, be an easier transition, I think. So I forgot something. What's that? Something very important. 
This is not symmetrical. No, it isn't. But we can make it symmetrical. So when I was... Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. But, um... A gift. I shall admit my mistake. So do we want the walls two blocks thick or one block thick? I mean, if anything needs to be up armored, to it's the walls, right? Yeah. It really is up to you. It is going to add an enormous amount of weight to have it, um, you know, two, but it will provide that much more protection. Or you could have one block thick of uh, the heavy armor and use uh, last plate on the outside as a plated armor. Strange, you know, a moment ago it was telling me uh, that it didn't have uh, all sorts of things to build stuff with and then I uh, ordered up some construction items and now all of a sudden it doesn't need anything, which is kind of odd. And I think I may have answered you in when I was in the inventory again. Shame, shame. to see what this uh, does. I might try and help it along a little bit with some uh, steel plates. So what do you think? Um, I did use uh, normal blocks, uh, heavy armor blocks in the front there. I'll add in the corner pieces if you want uh, as well, um, just to make it look nicer. Instead of uh, doing a light bar across the whole front, Maybe if we did a, um... I'm thinking if we bring out the, uh, the curves here. Bring those out and do uh, a bar across the top. 
just over top of the, um... Okay. You know, just one block out. And then we add the lights onto that. What do you think? Sure. Uh, so you mean one block further than it is now? Yeah. And then we just have the headlights in front of the cock on top of the cockpit shining down. Okay. That sounds fun. Or out. Oh, I finally worked. I double clicked on the grinder and it went into auto grind mode. I've never got it to work before. Nice. Well, it would be nice except that I started grinding the vehicle in places I didn't want to grind. Oh, well, then yes. No, bad. Bad grinder. Just trying to clean up the interior a little bit around in this area so we can see what we need to do. I don't know. I'm... After the day I've had, I'm just doing everything I can to get my mind off of it. Well, that's one thing this is good for. So do you have any ideas for um, doing this? Anything oh, no. you want to do specifically? Nothing. No, nothing specific. I'm just I'm happy to take your lead. I know, but we always take my lead, and that's it. Kind of bothers me sometimes. No, no, that's not true. Look, at the, look above. You know, that's my ship. Over there, you know the liner. That's my ship. In this base I designed. That tug over there I designed and built. You know, it's pretty equal. If not, I know, you know more I in just... my favor that I've built more stuff, you know, and sort of taken over more than you have. Not really. I mean, it's your world, I'm, and it's your stream, it's your stuff. I'm, I'm the guest, man. Oh no, you've put as much effort in as I have it now, it's, you know, it's a shared experience. It's, uh, you're as equally as responsible for it as many, I, I don't see it as being, you know, my ownership alone. Yeah, I, I, I see what you mean. But no, I just, I just wanted to see if you might have any ideas or plans with this, this build that, you know, you haven't mentioned or anything like that, you know? Oh no, I, you know, I had one big tank in me and that was the bolo. For now, anyway. For now. So what do you think about um, smoothing this surface out a little bit on the front? Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah, I think it probably is. Then you can keep track of how thick it really is and stuff. I, c I couldn't hear you. You're starting to get a little quiet there, buddy. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I think uh, you you smooth it out it's going to help you to un like know how thick it actually is and stuff otherwise it's going to be I mean it looks kind of nice but there's no real reason for the bumps and dips so you'd be better off just having a smooth surface okay I'm also thinking maybe if we took and copied the right side and put it on the left side, so I have two cockpits in the front? What do you think? 
Um. I, I didn't see it that way. I thought it was kind of cool to have just one. And, you know, because you only want to risk one person at a time. True. Okay, so then my other idea was to have maybe that ramp that I was talking about, the, the loading and unloading ramp. What yeah, about having sure. one over here on this one? Um, well, you know, if you're moving in to unload under fire, you would want it at the back or the side. True. I'm just trying to think of something we could do at the side. I, I thought about doing that turret, but it's, like you said, it's, it's a little OP. I mean, it's it would really be cool to have that spot for the turret, but I don't think that would be something that... I don't know, you could stick a, a Bofors on, one of those 40mm jobs. That, that would be yeah, I was of thinking of one of that, that single-barreled one. I'll put it up. I, I, I don't know which one. Or tell me the name. Actually, I think it was the uh, the one that you used to have over the door. Was the one that I was looking at putting there. No, the thing about I was trying to. Sorry, um, I'm in, in between two conversations, one with you and one with Wifey about taxes and stuff like that. Sure. Uh, the Aiden Thirty. Is that the one you meant? Yeah, that, that was the one. Oh yeah. That's probably the least OP of the yellow turrets. Either that, or just a regular Gatling, or maybe a, a small. A uh, small ship rocket launcher or rocket turret. Rocket turret. It has one of those, right? Small ship rocket turret. Sorry, the missile sentry and the other one. Were the two I was looking at. Um, the ones uh, the added by the weapon pack, I think. Yeah, does it have full 360 or 720 um, degree action? I mean, if we stick it on the front there, will it be able to hit any target in the front? Uh, I'll build a couple of them, and we'll see what the, uh, what the stuff for them is. They'd have to be small conveyors. I need interior plates. Oh, it's stopped again. I better go check. What happened? Oh, the oh building it was welding a minute again. ago. No, it, it's welding for me. It's up towards I'll the middle, check anyway. in the top. Yeah, it does want some stuff. I'll just queue it up. so weird it's welding up stuff inside the ship. I thought I used the, um... I think we're out of steel plates is what the problem is. Well, uh... 
Assembler 2 is running and it's got a couple of hundred sitting in uh, its uh, cargo there so it must have stopped for another reason. It said it needed uh, 5,000 motors so I've queued those up um, and it's still got a couple of thousand steel plates to build in the other assembler. I don't know. I don't know. I oh, know, it's just I am at a lot, just sir. I'm at a lot. And I'm just making sure that, you know, it, it doesn't stop as much as it sometimes does. So it's building the motors it needs. It just needed a few computers and other odds and things that I'll, I'll just make sure it's going to get to. Do we have any small steel tubes? Better yet, I'll check. I know you're busy. No, 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 I can't speak when I'm in the adventure. Uh, no, we don't. Do you want me to put some on? Uh, if you don't mind, um, a couple of hundred should be okay. I put on 500. Doesn't hurt to have some extras. Yeah, it's taking the motors as fast as I can build them, so I must have needed them. I'll just quickly put the, the small steel tubes toward the front so you get a few. Cool, now we're just missing motors. Yeah, they're queued up. I've just uh, been switching the um, order around a little. So I don't think that Aiden has a small ship variant. I think it's just a large ship. Yeah, it's it only appears as one of the yellow ones uh, in the um, shortcut list store. You know, item is. But there's the little blue uh, missile sentry, I think it's called. I mean, maybe we should stick to small ship blocks for a small ship group. Yeah, no, that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to find a small gun to go with it. I'm gonna see if maybe one of those side cannons might look good. Sure. Oh, it's so cute! Okay, so the 300mm definitely has a small ship variant, but the 900 doesn't. And it is huge! I'll come and have a look.
Really, amount of steel plate. Oh, it should be making thousands. So what's that one? Oh no, I needed some to build. Okay, so um, once it has the stuff to build it, it should be good. I think we're just waiting on motors for these two. And this one just basically needs everything but steel plate. Oh, is that one of the side ones? Yeah, that's the 300 millimeter side. The 900 doesn't have a small variant. Yeah, I'm not surprised about that. Um, the, uh... Go on, sorry. They're very interested in your ship. I noticed so are the rest of the guns. Um, I did convert it to ownership by me. Or, oh, hang on, yeah, look, I better get in and just change ownership because this is new. I'm going to adjust the settings for the turrets in here so they don't attempt to fire at it, just in case. That should have fixed what's been built. There we go. I set them to not fire at neutrals, so they shouldn't shoot if they accidentally get ammo or something. Yeah, it's um, I've set the ownership to uh, me in as much of the base as I could and share with faction. There's some sections that are owned by you, but that's the only problem I seem to have. And that shouldn't be a problem because they I mean, they're we probably can... set to share it with faction. I can uh, convert everything over to you. No, no, it's no need. But we, what happened the last time, we tried that with Vector. No, no, it's all good. It seems to be working fine, so... It was just that this new grid is uh, owner nobody, so it was um, attracting the attention of the turret zone. Okay, I'm in love with this thing. Guess what the aim radius for this side cannon is. The max rate aim uh, range. Did I? Twelve hundred meters. Oh, nice. Oh well, it definitely belongs. So uh, this is going to. If I'd known that, I would have put them on. The, Absolutely. Uh, I should put them on the front of uh, what's the name, Bolin. Well, the uh, the other two are very nice looking. Uh, yeah, that one's definitely going on the front. I may even build spots on the sides to kind of use that to our advantage. Oh, it swivels so awesome! It's so cool.
So I think we have a new sniper cannon. Certainly seems Sound about like right. You know, maybe we could mount one on the front of one of the vipers. Or, just saying, or, Mr. Miner, without sacrificing of the viper. Oh, yeah. Do that. Add a second cockpit to it. So one of us can remote control the uh, the cannon. One of us can pilot. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Or even better, we could do dual turrets on it. No, I think one should be enough. I'd feel safer with a pilot. You know, who's only concentrating on pilot. I'm thinking we may have to just do a focused build kind of thing. I, I don't want to convert Mr. Miner. If anything, I think we should probably begin scrapping Mr. Miner. He's uh, definitely lived past his um, his prime. He's he survived more hits than he than he should have. I'm I'm very well, very very well pleased with this thing, but um, with the parts that we could probably salvage off of, we may be able to finish yours. You know, there's no need. We're not short of resources. I mean, I don't see the need to, to scrap any real, except stuff that we're never going to use again. Well, I I don't really see myself using Mr. Miner in the future if we have the big mining vessel there. You know what I mean? So, but it wouldn't it be easier? You've already got the thruster platform, so to speak, and everything else. Is so why not just convert it over to the cannon and add the extra cockpit? I mean, we can. It's, that's not a problem. I just figured we would do something more focused on it. But yeah, we can do that. Oh, no, it's just a suggestion. I just thought rather than completely recycling, yeah, I know. you could just convert it. No, I, I agree. I agree. We should definitely uh, convert it. If uh, if you're up for it, I'm up for it. What I might do is do uh, two of the smaller cockpits instead of the fighter cockpit. And I'll uh, move them up a little bit and back. That should give us enough room to squeeze them both in there with conveyors so that we both have O2 and stuff. Um, we may have to do an oxygen generator on this. What do you think? Are we going to um, take this off off this planet? Well, he doesn't have any uh, non, non-atmospheric thrusters, so it would require a pretty big conversion. I don't think, you know, I don't think it does because we're never going to take it probably high enough for it to matter. Okay. Yeah, we needed about 10,000 steel plates, that's why it's still. Darn camera, hold still. I'm trying to grind you, you bouncing little bugger. Now we're getting there.
Can you uh do me a favor? What's that? Could you come to where I'm at and grind down this stupid camera that's bouncing around everywhere? Uh, it may be laying on the ground for you. It's it's bouncing around everywhere for me. Oh, I see it. Yeah. I. Th Why'd the bob get it anyway? Because it's junk. Or... No, it's not painted. I'm I'm trying not to use bob to uh. Uh, lighten the load on the, uh, the build process. Got it. Thank you. AFK one sec. Yes, sir. Are you back? Oh, sorry, yes. Okay, so I have a question for you. We have the one cockpit has the large attachment attachment on the bottom, and the other has the two attachments on the back. The conveyor junction would work, but... I can't no, no, hang line on. it up with this the, the, medium. The fighter cockpit has its a large connection on the back, and the the other one has the two small connectors on the back and a large connector underneath. Okay, so should I just use two uh, fighter cockpits, or should I use two of the smaller ones? Um, what do you think would look better? Two fighters would look better, probably. Yeah, that and they give us additional uh, storage space. But you could make a mixture work if you had to, you know. Whatever works best for the design. I mean, you know, I don't mind being a little dinky one. Well, I was saying I could do it like this. And then I'll add a medium cargo. So you stagger one forward, yeah, sure. No, that looks like it looks fine. Except for the big thrust of uh, pointing at it from behind. And the little ones. Oh, no, I'm gonna take care of that here in a bit. I love how the, uh... Actually... Sorry, mate, go on. Actually, I think I'll have to bring it out further than that for the uh, bottom cockpit to work. Sure. What were you saying? I was just going to say, uh, with the gold tools, I love how, um, you know, the Elite Level 3 tools looks like it was cast out of tin, you know, like really cheap tin or something, and paint gold. Kind of funny. I don't know what you're talking about. Mine oh. looks like it's made from bones. Yeah, well, mine's made from really cheap gold uh, look-alike, I think. 
iron pyro or something. But I don't think you can cast it like I'm gonna grab some computers, be right back. We're out of computers. Do you want to order some up? Yeah, I just ordered up a thousand. That should cover it. Hopefully. I don't know. I think I need to use the um, the connector sleeve thing, and then fill in the gap with blocks, and that would look a little bit better. What do you think? I don't actually know how to use the connector sleeve thing. I've never actually managed to find a use for it. It's called the conveyor frame. I just call it a sleeve because that's basically what it is. Yeah, I know the one you mean. I've just never worked out how you're supposed to use it. Oh, it's just like a short extension, is it? Yeah, basically, it's just a one, one small block thick uh, extension. Now, of course, we have to consider where the gun's going to go and uh, how we feed it with ammo. Was it a large connector for its ammunition? Or? No, it's small ones. That's why I left the ones on the sides. Cool. I figured we could run one up each side for redundancy. Sure. Actually, I have to move it up one more block. Uh, this thing's looking more and more like a... Uh, some type of buzzard or something. You might have to change its name. To the buzzard? I can do that. I can live with that. We may just do a uh, rebuild of the motor section in the back too. Since we have all this extra room, we might be able to move things around a little bit more. Yeah, sure. Just do a full retrofit. Sounds good.
Well, it still needs some steel plate, but it seems to have everything else in it. Once I prove this works, I'll have to update my uh, blueprint. I found out when I uh, made a copy of this um, in an empty world uh, earlier that it actually had some damaged blocks. So the blueprint actually had damaged blocks, which is kind of annoying. And I have converted all the heavy armor to light armor in the frame, so you know it, it probably deserves its own workshop item. But I should definitely also fix up the other one so that it doesn't have any damaged blocks in the blueprint. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's been up for years now, well, at least a year, with the damaged blocks, and I, re I actually updated it recently, maybe about a month ago, and, you know, didn't notice that I had uh, damaged a bunch of blocks, which reminds me I should put the shield on. Yeah, I had um, my original atm uh, atmospheric mover, the landing gear were broken on it for the longest time after the conversion over, and nobody told me, and then somebody's like, hey, can you, uh, can you fix the landing gear on it? It's not working. So when I went and looked at it, and I replaced them with the new blob, and when I updated it, uh, they said, hey, it's still not working. So after about my 12th time trying to fix it and update it, I decided to delete it. I rebuilt it, which is the uh, the current chassis of the uh, Mr. Miner, and reposted it. And they said, never mind, we found something else that we want to use. I'm like, oh, so I did all the work for nothing. Oh, that's a pain. And really, they could have fixed it themselves, bro. Have been easier. Yes, well. I don't know, I think at the time I was just trying to be nice and fix it for them.
So just Sorry. for giggles. Go on, mate. Sorry. Huh? Oh, I'm just fiddling around with trying to place uh, the large shield generator on the, uh, the new ship. Yeah, good luck with that. That thing is a pain. It's huge. It's just too big. Yeah, I'm starting to it think maybe be I should off. be using uh, small ones. Yeah, I was going to say maybe one or two small ones might work. I mean, it's never going to be in a battle, um, so... I'm thinking about laying out, uh, for giggles, uh, the turrets that I'm wanting to put on there. I want to see what the large, uh, ones have for range for your, um, your APC. Might be yeah, worth sure. it. What do you think? Yeah, no, go for it. The 900 is just so big. I think it's a 2x2x2. Two by two by two. That's huge. Alright, so I built one small shield fully upgraded, two flux coils and two of the other things, whatever they are. Power coils, I think, or something? Or, um, capacitors. That should be enough to help with bumps and scrapes. You know, it's mainly the wheels job, though I may or may not actually remove the wheels depending on how well they, they work. I don't think I had quite the right settings on them, really. I tried them a couple of months ago in a stream and uh, I ended up removing some of them because they were actually causing me more problems than not. Right. Can you hear me while I'm controlling this? Yeah, I can hear you. Cool. So, um, I think these have the range as well. And since they can zoom, I think it would be a very good sniper turret. For the front of the bowler? For anything that you want to snipe with. Well, I'm just, just excited the, um, that it's got the control panel there. I'm just excited that it's got the 1200 range. I don't know about the 1200 range. I didn't check that. You might want to double check that. I mean, I. I've got the. Uh, I, I think it should be at this fine, moment. You know, getting the panel is a pain sometimes. <laughs> Certainly looks like it reaches out to 1200. Do we have any 900 millimeter ammo? Um, in the bolo there is, but I don't know if there's any here. You could make a shell. Don't see any problem with that. Blow something up. I don't know if you'll see it, but you know, with it being as dark as it is.
Is a small one done being built yet? I don't think so. I don't see a barrel. Construction components, I think, is all it needs. Yep, I'll, I'll order I, um, some up for you. I started up more uh, motors and computers. Yep. There it goes. Okay, so I have four rounds in each. Do we have a target that we can uh, fire at? Not really. That was a problem because it's so dark. Actually, there might be. The, uh, that hill over there that I put a hole in? Yeah, you can sort of see it dimly over there. The little bump on the ice there. That's got, like, a neat little hole like well, a if donut. you're... If you're interested, you could, uh... Admin spawn in something for us to shoot. Alright. Maybe that big sign of yours? It could fall over in a big clang. Be ready. Well, uh, unless you have a ship design that we can load in instead. I got a little space fighter. I'll put it out on the ice. I think it's, I'll stick some lights on it. So. Okay. You might want to go out a little bit. I would say, uh, I don't know, two, three hundred meters. I'm going to turn off the base defenses. Something's already targeting it. I think I'm about to be exploded. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll place another one here as well. I was just going to stick some lights on them. You okay, bud? Yeah, you might want to switch off the build and repair because it's um, demolishing them. Okay, uh, I'll go do that.
I'm just trying to locate the. Uh, oh no, I might as well just put another one on. I mean, admin. That should make a reasonable target. So, for recording purposes, the first couple of shells that you fire, I'll go over there and watch, and then we'll switch so that you can see the damage yourself. That way they get a view of the damage and uh, of it being fired. Oh no, it, looks, good? it should be okay because I don't think it's going to be there after the first shot, so I'll just go and watch it as you fire at it. Okay, I'll start with a 300 then. You have it uh, as a friendly, right? I haven't done anything to change it. So it's probably uh, nobody. That was a miss. Something's targeting it though. I can see uh, crosshairs on it. Oh, now that, that caused a big bang. A lot of debris from that last shot. Was that armor piercing or high explosive? Can't you hear me?
<laughs> There's just scrap metal everywhere. <laughs> Not much left. No. So if you want to spawn in a couple more of those, we can uh, we can try the large cannon after I take control of it. Um, I'm gonna go do that now so it doesn't shoot as soon as you spawn something. How's that?
I think it's going to fall over is the problem. I don't think it's uh, stationary. Yeah, there it goes. Cutting its way down into the ice. Oh no, it seems to have settled. How about that? Yeah, it seems to have settled, it seems to be stable. Yeah, that's, that's going to make a nice boom. I love how the light kind of is hitting half of it, but not all of it. It makes it kind of look good. So do you want to do the honors, or do you want me to? No, no, you go for it. I'll watch from here. We probably better uh, end the recording after this, too. I'll go have some lunch and stuff. Unless, of course, you want to keep going. You're welcome to. Um, would you like to try the AP shells before before I hop off? Yeah, give it a shot. I mean, no, you go for it, mate. You do the firing. I'll just watch from here if you want to try the AP shells this time. Okay. Um... I want to see how big the damage is for the uh, the HE, but if you could uh, start up some AP shells for the 300 and the 900, we can try those next. Sure. Just uh, let me know when you're ready, and I'll fire. Alright, they're building now. Thank you, sir. I don't think it's going to be up right after the first HE shell, to be honest. I'm Just let me know when you're right ready. Now. Must have wedged itself in the ice or something. Luck. Just sheer luck, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm aim for the uh, the middle of the end. Okay. I'm ready. You ready? All right, fire one. Oh, it's a bit disappointing. I think it's heavy armor. Is it small blocks? Yeah, small block heavy armor. That might Isn't be that annoying. Line. Let me uh, let me try again. That is more now like that it. worked. Yeah, nice little hole. Punch. I think what happened is it maybe AP uh, a uh, armor penetrated and yeah. exploded on the other side. Yeah, I think it maybe didn't detonate when it hit it. Cool. I think AP is going to act in a similar way, it'll just go straight through without making much of a hole. So should I uh, just fill it through full of holes then? Yeah, just, you know, use the HE. Very nice. Definitely oh, that one didn't go through all the way. Oh, a tough little bugger. Yeah, I wonder why. It's you know, it should be uniform thickness all the way. You know, friend to end. I think what it is is a, is a mix between the angle that I'm hitting it at. And the fact that it's small blocks and not large blocks. Sure. I'm definitely shooting through it.
That see some it. damage. I might get closer and have a look. Alright, I'll cease fire for now. I just saw some pieces of uh, metal hitting uh, the crater just in front of the gun. It was like some of the debris made it this far. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got some nice jagged holes here. You should come and have a look. That is a big hole. Yeah. Good job, I'd say. Uh, that, 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 that's a big hole. And this is the, the reduced version. The one where it's not as powerful. We'll have to test it out at uh, the full 1200 meter range as well. But we might leave that for tomorrow. i probably end the recording here if you want to say goodbye. Sure. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys have a nice evening. Remember to leave a like, a comment, a share, a subscribe, tell your friends, your family, and I hope you guys have it all, have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.